Well, go on traders. You are the traders here again. All right, guys. Another start to the trading week. So let's see what's going on with Mullin here. So as you can see, Mullin is currently sitting at 16.95, 16 cents and 95. So are we back close to the bottom? So let me just zoom out here. So we had hit the bottom at 15 cents and 50 a couple of days ago. So I guess we are hovering a um, little bit above that level. So hopefully we can build some support at this level. So the, um, as I recall, we had got a little pop up a couple of days ago when um, Lawrence, not Lawrence, sorry, David had announced that there was a, um, the news that came out was that there's a moratorium on, on debt until the end of 2023. So we got a little pop up from there. Um, up to 22 cents so, but now that little news has faded off and it has come back down so let's jump in and see what's going on otherwise with, um, with the news on Mullen if any news that came out so as you can see Mullen went down almost 5% on Friday pre-market down another 1% plus market cap we're trying to hold the 43 um, million, but as you can see, we got some um, sell off. It's now down to 41 million. In terms of the, the, the volume that came in, was significant again 149 million compared to average of 59 million in terms of volume. The overall market was, I would say, red. TSX down almost a percent, SP almost a percent, Dow. A little bit over half a percent okay while I'm speaking here as you can see Mullen um, has pushed back up a little bit almost half half a percent up um, in pre-market so is there any news that came out with regards to production but before I get into that um, as you can see the market was fairly red on Friday lucid down almost five percent Neo down almost over five and a, almost five and a half percent Rivian over f um, four percent so the market was overall just red so as you can see no new news came out but there is some um, information that came out on Twitter has nothing to do with um, Mullen but I'm gonna jump right in that shortly so on Twitter uh, this is what was tweeted out. I'm not sure, um, you know, if this picture is actually accurate, but I'm just giving you as it uh, as I as I see it come across my radar. So this guy had posted this to say, "Hope you are ready for production mode," and he shows a lot of the cargo vans that were all lined up here. Uh, so this doesn't look like a Photoshop. <laughs> Good looking to see if. Um, you know, by chance, this could be something that someone reproduce multiples of these vehicles, but it seems looks looks um, genuine enough to me. But as I can, as I have always said, you know, you can't um, go by what you see, you know, until the official information comes out. But this looks pretty good on the face of it here. So this is a you know, hope you're ready for production. So this other information came out with regards to Lawrence and he apparently was partying up with you know had a pool party and he was partying up here so this guy was saying your boy Lawrence wild <coughs> so let me just zoom into it here so this is Lawrence partying up at some pool party I think he had made a tweet um, that came out um, saying he's having fun at his barbecue but this is I guess this is how he's spending his money so someone was posted to say hey you look like the, the big blue M&M &M. <laughs> oh wow so these guys are pretty funny but uh, let's just jump back into some serious business here so as I mentioned before Mullen seems like it could 
be holding um, at this level it doesn't drop back to the 15 cents so let's go in and see what's going on with the options from the option side the calls that came in is was pretty low because I think we had 28,000 expected high average high enough average for Mullen but we only got 10,000 calls that came in on Friday um, open interest for the next couple of weeks 14,000 on um, this Friday 8,000 on the 7th and 4,000 on the um, 14th but this is where it gets interesting guys uh, not this one but this 74,000 open interest on the 21st of July so I'm guessing that you know maybe there will be some news that will come out that will kind of push the stock hopefully it's news about production and deliveries so you know, only time will tell uh, there was some information that came out with regards to David having a interview which should have happened on Friday last Friday with a youtuber it didn't happen so um, they are rescheduled to have that interview from what I hear this week so let's see what happens out of that and from what I understand is that there will be questions asked that were posed by you know shareholders in terms of how will David be supporting the shareholders going forward based on the fact that this stock has now dropped almost 90% since you know past couple of months all right, guys, so this is kind of what I have for you for today. Nothing, you know, much to add, but just bringing it to you as I get it. All right, as usual, if you like this type of content, don't forget to hit a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care, guys.